No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Color Grading Central, professional color grading with Color Finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. All right, I'm here with Techman Joe at Wacom, and he's going to tell us a little bit about a couple new products they have coming out. Oh, absolutely. You want me to hold this for you? Uh, or, uh, I'll, I'll, I, I can take, look, take it away. I'll take the horn. Yeah, so there we go. For it. So, uh, yeah, we just this year, actually, since January, we've announced three new products that are really of substance. We've got the new Cintiq 27 uh, QHD. This is a... Uh, we kind of stepped up the game from the Cintiq 24. These displays now, what's, what to me is really exciting, the big steps forward, is 2.5K, 97% Adobe RGB. Um, so great color accuracy, great color uniformity. Uh, we learned, we listened. Um, <laughs> we have four USB 3 ports uh, in the display itself. So, you know, if you happen to be loading a uh, lot of footage, you can drop it on there nice and fast. Um, one of the coolest things that I think, and most exciting uh, aspects of the Cintiq 27, is we've removed all the buttons from both sides, because we tried to be kind of handedness agnostic in the past. And now we've, we've learned that you, know, you accidentally hit the buttons on one side or the other, whichever your, your pen hand is, and we've put them all in your non-dominant hand. So now you've got 17 programmable keys all in your left hand or right hand if you're, you know, if you're left-handed. Um, and so that, that flexibility is what it's all about. We and give you that, all of the options. And is that just uh, magnetized on the back? Yeah, there we go. Now I'm taking Sorry, this man. bag from you. You know, it's fine. Um, and so you can just place that on either side and it just sticks. I guess that's a magnet. It's, it's even better than that because, I mean, you, you make it part of your workspace, right? This, this thing is about an immersive environment. You get in and you get on it. You can hold it down here. You can have it here. You can put it out on the display wherever you want it to be. And then, of course, you've also got on-screen keyboards because all of our new pen displays are pen and touch. So you have the option of pen only, but you know we like to show off the pen and touch because all of our software partners are really going touch-sensitive stuff. So we come out with the updated version to the Cintiq Companion. Um, the Cintiq Companion is an all-in-one. It's, it's basically a sleek ultrabook. Uh, so we, we've kind of got different flavors for it. So you can get it in i3, i5, and i7 processors running full-blown Windows 8. It's capable of running Premiere very effectively, or After Effects. It'll do it all. The last really cool feature that we, we listen to our audience about is we, we, historically, we had a hybrid version that ran Android when it was unplugged, and you could plug it in and use it as a Cintiq 13 with pen and touch. Now, the Cintiq Companion 2, you can plug in to a Mac or a PC, and it then functions just like a little 13-inch Cintiq with pen and touch capability. This is a Cintiq 13, but with a full-blown Ultrabook environment. So everything I need to do, I can do right here. I mean, it's got all of the same pressure sensitivity, tilt, everything that you've come to love and learn, uh, learned and love about our products is built under the hood of now a really sweet Ultrabook. And then lastly, but not least, of course, we have the Cintiq 13 pen and touch. We've decided to actually include touch into the Cintiq 13. This is a, you know, small version of the Cintiqs that we've all come to love. Uh, it plugs into your Mac, your PC. We've really stripped down the connectivity so it's a single cable, plugs directly into HDMI, directly into USB, and directly into a power outlet, and you're done. What are we looking at for price point for all these products? Price point, I'm going to do some rounding roughly in the $1,000 realm for the, the pen and touch. Okay. Uh, we've got the Cintiq Companions range from about $1,500 to $2,500. Okay. That's um, for the different processor speeds, right? Different processor speeds, different SSDs. Those are all solid state, so they go up to a 512 solid state drive with 16 gigs of RAM. Um, I mean, it's a robust little system. And then the Cintiq Pen and Touch is $2,800, or you can get a pen-only version for $2,400. Okay, well, great. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you.